say that the, the Ireland job is a, it's a tough gig. Since coming in as Ireland manager, you definitely try to nurture, develop talent, play a more of a possession style than attacking style of play, but unfortunately you just haven't been able to get those wins. Taking on the role, I'm sure it, you thought it would be a tough gig. Did you think it would be this tough? Yeah, listen, yeah, that's a big question. You know, that's a, it encompassing how you want to speak about it, you know, the whole really I'm um, you know, I think the squad that we selected today reflects the work sort of we've done over the last three seasons. I think um, you know it's uh, it's been a, obviously a radical change in personnel. Um, a team at the end of its cycle we inherited and a lot of the players who were backing that up for whatever reason that they seem to their careers when they might drop the division or so turn it kind of way you know drop mm -hmm. the division or so so a lot of uh, a lot of these players now um, their careers are on the rise you know they're they're only going to improve they're only going to become better and I, I think the squad reflects the work that we've done um, and uh, I'm happy with it and we're excited about playing Holland and Amsterdam. Holland and Amsterdam is a, is a really exceptional game, you know, obviously they've got to win to qualify, they qualify regardless, but the fact that if they win to qualify will be a big night for them and it's a big game for us and uh, I'll follow, followed by New Zealand at home of course in the final game. So uh, we want to prepare well this week and uh, and you know, we look forward to it. I know you said you you know there's a lot of talent there. You're excited by it, but it must be frustrating at the same time to not be getting those results that you'd hope to get. Um, yeah, I think. Listen, we were in the proverbial group of death. I think we had. Uh, I was at the draw, for example, with with Northern Ireland in 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 Switzerland, and they were fifth season. They had. Slovenia, Finland, Kazakhstan, etc. We, we were toward seed. We ended up with France, Holland, Greece. I think our performances, performance against France and Holland at home, were, were really excellent performances. And obviously, our wins against Gibraltar. What's obviously the disappointing aspect that it was obviously the performance to, get, to lose the games against Greece that we did. And you know, does I take responsibility for that? And you know, that's that's uh, that's something I have to take responsibility for. Uh, but Overall, attitude to players' application, uh, determination, and the high level of skill in a lot of the matches, a lot of the games that we've managed against all the top team that we've had against the top teams over the years: Portugal home and away, Serbia home and away, um, Scotland home and away, um, France at home this year, Holland at home this year, the centenary game against Belgium. They've been all top class games of football, absolutely top class games of football, and I think people have have seen that and enjoyed that and watched it, you're right, we, we just haven't won enough, and particularly this year, the games against Greece that we lost, and uh, and as I said, that's that's the disappointing aspect. And just finally, for me, I know it's unsure yet what is to happen, but it sounds like you might need more time. Do you feel like you want to stay on as a longer period of time as Ireland manager because you need more time to develop this squad? I'm not I'm not making a play. I think, I think uh, I'm certainly not doing that. I, listen, my contract is up at the end of um, after the, the New Zealand game. Um, I've been very very pr privileged to manage Ireland. Um, yeah, it's a transitional phase, but uh, you can see the squad now the way it is, and um, all of those players. It's been a record amount of players have come through, and now a lot of those. Some of them are in the Premier League. Now, I think one of the things is, is that their international experience has really enhanced their club careers and their opportunities to get club moves. Several of the players that they are been blooded in the international team early has really enhanced their ability to get you know to get the moves that they have when people seeing them performing at an international level that's 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 encouraged them and you can go right through the team for that. There's eight or nine players in that in that I would say. So definitely um, um, what what happens next I've no, I've no control over and, and um, so really we're just uh, focusing on having a good week training, making sure we're ready for Holland, 
and then the last game against New Zealand, and uh, and you know that's that's it. Kevin Kinfus. Yeah, I see. Uh, reports in one of today's papers saying that you're a contender for the vacant manager's job at Lincoln City. Is that accurate? No, listen. You, you can be linked with any job. Let's pick as an international manager or whatever. Like the only thing I'm concerned about is managing Ireland. That's the that's the biggest job. You couldn't no club job could compare to managing your country. It doesn't it doesn't. You know, it doesn't. And uh, managing your country is the biggest, the biggest uh, honour that could be bestowed upon you. And that's that's something, uh, you know, I just want to do, you know, obviously no decisions made for a few weeks in that regard. But um, whatever it will be, will be, you know, that's, that's, that, that's, I'm just focusing on the games and, and making sure we're well prepared. Are you personally thinking about what's next? Um... I'm very just very focused on what what we've got to do. Um, after that, I, you know, I, I can I can I can make decisions after that, based on, on um, when when when, uh, when I'm informed right away. Yeah, and would that opportunity link Lincoln if it's there? Would that interest? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not discussing any any individual club at this stage. No. And just on the squad itself, was Seamus far away, or is he? Um, I mean, obviously, regular contact with Seamus, and I spoke to him again this morning. But um, seven Seamus went out for seven and a half months, like so it's considered like it's a serious and I think I'd love to, we'd love to have him here, but he's been out for seven and a half months. Um, he played 45 and played uh, 65 against um, Mansfield in the, in the EFL. It's, he's behind the closed doors game at Everton this week. You know, later this week, I think to get him to help him again. You know, progress to get match fitness. The Holland game. You know, it's, it's, a, it's probably a bridge too far to ju to jump into an international game like that straight from there. Eddie, Stephen, just first on the squad, um, two goals and two assists for Stephen Robertson at the moment of the weekend. Can you explain why they're not in the squad? Yeah, I didn't consider Sammy Smodex for selection. Um, he obviously had to leave the camp on the second day in the last camp because of personal reasons and those personal reasons haven't changed. He just can't be away for 10 days. He just, his personal situation, he just can't be away for 10 days. So he couldn't be considered. With Andy, Andy, obviously I was at, Andy got injured playing for Blackburn. He's been out for a few weeks. He came back and played well. We're not going to play him in Holland. So Jim needs him. You know, it's part of his development, the under 21 international as well against Norway. We'll review it for the New Zealand situation. We'll see how we are, and uh, and because Andy obviously we regard Andy very highly, and he played well last Sunday, right? Uh, against Norwich, he played very well. You mentioned the New Zealand game. You said it's called the final game. Of the, your, after, after in your, year. No, in your mind, do you think what's going to be your final game of your of your career? Uh, uh, listen, it may well be the case. You know, it may well be the case. I, uh, I can't be certain on any of these things, but regardless, we'll be professional. Uh, in our approach, uh, and um, you know, uh, we we'll have to see. We'll have to see on that. I, that, that those decisions are are, uh, are are out of my control. You know for sure. Just in my case, if, if there was a case, did you leave the international football, Irish football in general, in a stronger place than it was? And yeah. Have you even damaged your own reputation in the process? Is that? Or do you think you have enough of your reputation? I, don't know. Uh, I think uh, I think those are those are questions maybe we can answer at the end. You know, at the end rather than rather than now. And I think uh, I've already spoken about uh, earlier in the conference about various things. And uh, so, really looking forward to the game against Holland, the game against New Zealand. Uh, I like I like the squad. I hope obviously no one gets injured the weekend. You know, that everyone comes through the games. Obviously, some players are playing tonight. In Europe, and some are playing. Seven of them are playing Sunday, so it, you know it affects uh, your training. Seven of them are playing on Sunday, um, so it's um, it's uh, yeah. So hopefully everyone comes through fit, which which would be which would be great, and uh, and we can pick a strong team in Holland, and and have a go. Come, can we see? Okay. Stephen, you aim to build a squad competitive with Euro twenty twenty eight. 2024, whether that happens or not, is this squad strong enough to compete at a major tournament? Um, well, 
probably in a, even in a major tournament, you probably wouldn't get game. Like wouldn't get game a lot of the times. Not the play Holland and France are, are are the pinnacle. Like the two of the top teams in in the world. France, in my opinion, are the best team in the world. And then after that, Holland are obviously with a lot of world class players. They don't have the depth of France. You know, they don't have the depth of France. But um, they have they have a, they have a lot of good players. I think. Um, um, I know it's been, it's been, it's been well documented. Yeah, we're disappointed. It was an objective to qualify for, for Germany, having achieved that. You know, and you know, I, I understand that. You know, I'm not I'm not shying away from that. That was it was an objective, um, and uh, we, we you know that's it was difficult to achieve, and, and obviously, in the group we got, uh, extremely difficult. Um, I think, you know, um, it's been well documented that the European Championship has been here in, 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 in four years and I think that team will be very strong then um, and, um, you know, there's no doubt about that, a lot of the players are in their peak in, that, in, those, in those periods, so that will be a pivotal time and obviously the World Cup draw as well, so we'll have to, we'll have to, have to see on that. Any further questions for the live? One more down here, John. Uh, Stephen, you talk about players improving their club career as a result of their uh, performances with Ireland. Obviously, Chinoza Benny is getting a lot of attention at the minute for his performances in Luton Town. How pleased are you to see him performing well in the Premier League and getting praise from, from out abroad that he was like very well up and has known for? Yeah, he's a breath of fresh air, Chio, and I think he um, he's an example to every young player how to, you know, how to have a determination to prove how, how professional you need to be. And, level of humility he brings to every every single day and so he, wore, he gives everything of himself all the time and like he had to play in when we we captain he was playing wing back in league one he wasn't even playing in the forward positions he was playing wing back and we brought him in and he he deserves huge credit himself for the way he has uh, got because he got promoted got relegated uh, had to go again in league one um, he got to the championship and played in a variety of positions there. He's got to the Premier League. He's had to wait when we played Holland previously in the September window. He hadn't played much football coming into that game. Uh, he hadn't played because he was just finding his way. They were playing three five two Luton. They've sort of tweaked it now and they're playing uh, sort of three four two one or three four three. And uh, he's been playing on both wings on the left wing last week. Um, so to make the steps that he has um, is a huge credit to him and uh, coming because obviously I was well aware of my car but particularly Limerick where he did really well at Limerick and, and, and moved on from there to, uh, to, to, to Brentford and Rodgers.